All right, time for the rad support. So we're gonna have to take the headlight out. There's one here, one down there, one over there, and uh, you know, some other stuff. We gotta unplug some things and whatever. But first, let's open this, make sure it's the right one. So this looks good. And I'm just gonna keep this out so as I take things off of that one, I can put them on this one. So let's start taking some stuff off here. So these are all T30s. So let's take this off here because the headlight bolts into this. Start taking it out and unplug the harness for the headlight. And attached to this bracket is one screw right here and this one right back here. And then the new brackets are right there that we'll attach this to. And there's the second headlight. Those lights are so goddamn expensive. Insurance covered one of them when someone hit me, and because the other one looked so much better, I bought another one out of pocket, and that light cost me $1,800 Canadian. You gotta love that four ring sticker brace. Now with that removed, we pretty much just have to find like everything that's attached and take it off. So what do I need to remove now? Hmm. What am I doing? Uh, I'm gonna have to unbolt the horn because we have the new ones to go on because these are like super mangled and one of them doesn't work anymore. Uh, but I can see a bolt here and another one down here. So I'm gonna have to take both of those out as well as that here as well as those two corresponding bolts on that side. Under here comes through. Is this all one piece or does it have like a union somewhere like a Mark V? Not sure. I've never done this before on this car. Let's take out the bolts that I can see and then work from there. So. Ew. Let's undo uh, these. So we got those three bolts there. Those are all T30s. That one's gone forever. And take this out. Now we just got these like weird clip things. Now this is free. Okay, so we just slide that connector down off of that thing and just unhook it. Now this cable can run out here. So let's pop these out. These are going to be a 16. And then under here. There's the horns. And we can do these ones. And we got this one in here. Should be something else going on here. Well, that's attached to that middle bracket. Oh yeah, it's got that one on the bottom, so I have to take all those out. God damn it. So let's pop this one out. Perfect. And this one here. Let's do all four. Stop cutting corners. Just do it right the first time. Temperature sensor out quick. There we are. And that's that. And in here we have an airbag one. So, you know, make sure there's no battery or at least unhooked. Now those are not a T30 and I probably should have not been lazy with that. I can just hang out, I guess, maybe, like that, right there, yeah. There we go. Stay. These are a 5mm Allen head. How am I gonna do this? Oh yeah, this totally works. What the fuck? That sensor off. Now everything except the hood latch is good. So I just gotta kinda trace that back and figure out where the hell it comes out. It wasn't recording. Uh, two Phillips screw uh, rivets right here. These things, you just unscrew those, then it kinda threads out from like the plastic rivet clip thing, and then this just pops off. And the union for the hood latch cable is in here. So we just gotta get under here. Lift that up, do the same to this side, get in here, lift that up, goes right there, and right there. That's the hood latch. Now I pull that all the way out, and we're good to go. Now I just have to take those out right here and remove these pieces, because I gotta put those back on, because the license plate attaches to that one there. And other than that, I don't really think there's anything else that I need to recycle off this. Just those two pieces. Neato. And I'll just grab a T25. Now let's just pop these horns off. This one here is 007424. This one's 007424. This one says 400 hertz. This one's 500 hertz. So that's really weird that they have the exact same part number. Oh my god, these replacement ones on them don't say anything. They also look different. The listing said they're from an EPA3. So they should work. Cable's gonna come out on the complete opposite side though. Yeah, and this one comes out straight, so they are different, and they are positioned differently. This one spins anti-clockwise, this one spins clockwise, because it comes out like this, this one comes out like this. Oh 
Okay, that's looking good. I feel like this should probably be in the direction that the wire went. This one goes and hits everything. Oh, god damn it. You know what? I'm gonna deal with this after. Okay, so let's take this and let's get this in here. Hmm? Oh, that's the wrong side. I'm an idiot. Take one of these T20s. And this thing wants to go right here. And we can do the bottom ones. And this last one here. Now we get to play the super fun game of trying to get the rad back in here, fighting everything all at once. Great. <sighs> I'm not excited for this. So, scoop everything up. Get it all in there, nice and good. And then just kind of lift it all up and just start threading a bolt in. Do the same for this side. Let's kind of get it in place. Should probably put these in while I have access. Ow. Just so if they want to put the stock intake back on or that little cold air thing, they'll be able to. So everything just kind of chill in here. This gives me the opportunity to start running everything while still having some like movement. Let's start with this. This goes in through here. Hood release cable goes through. And let's just lock that in. Pull that tight and clip this down. So there we go in there. Just clip it in. Perfect. Now, these things do like to come apart. Just gonna wrap a cable tie around it just to make sure that it doesn't. Now we can toss this thing back on. Covers those wires up. Let's get these little like screw clip things. Let's get those in there. And then put the little middle piece in. And that'll lock them in place. And we can just take the rest of this. Just kind of like run it in here. Make sure a little rubber thing goes through here to stop any chafing on the metal. And just take the wire for this hood latch. Plug that in. This just goes right on here. And we can just make sure that these stay in here. Good. Put those little metal clips back on. So these things here just press straight on. And those will hold everything in place. Now we can screw this back in. Now all of these bolts are gonna be like alignment that needs to be done. Because it has to line up with the hood latch. Because it'll have to be adjusted after so I can actually like make sure it lines up with the hood. And then there's also uh, like the up and down movement as well. So if it's too high up, there's gonna be a gap. If it's too far down, uh, the hood won't latch all the way. So for a starting point, I'm just gonna leave it uh, centered. Just snug these up. And I'll worry about the alignment after. It's just like you tighten it up, you close the hood like slowly and you make sure that these line up properly and then if they do you try and close it. If it doesn't latch you loosen them back up, move it around a bit, close it back and forth. So it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna get into because it's gonna take forever to do it. But I can kind of push this up now and start threading this in. Just kind of hold it in place. And the same goes with this one here. You can already see that it has to move over this way a little bit. Got to put the rest of these bolts in, horns, and then just kind of start cleaning up the rest of it. Put everything back in. Now let's see. Do I remember where everything goes? I'm going to like place everything for now. Just so I can make sure that I know I remembered where all the bolts go. And then as I need to take them out to put something else in, I can do that. Now, what else is there? There's the whole headlight thing. I still have to do that. So that is going to be these ones. These ones went in here. Oh, why is that so far away? Come closer. Where did these come from? Ah, oh, god damn it. These ones go here. These ones go here. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, cool. Um, now I gotta do these things. So these just go under here, just like this. And this one goes right in here. Now it's probably worth noting that these sensors only go in one direction because they're keyed. So like you literally can't put them in wrong. It won't let you. So if they don't just fall into place, you need to turn it around. Now I'm sure there's a torque spec for all of these, but considering that they all just thread into a little metal insert that's in like plastic, or like fiberglass reinforced plastic or whatever, I'm not gonna go that tight. So now we can tighten these down. Everything is back in place. Now I gotta uh, do the horns. Now this goes in here, that threads in, yeah. All right, and I just gotta figure out the orientation of these like plugs. Cause this plugs in here, this horn has to go like something like that, and this one plugs in the other way. I just gotta pop this off, spin it around, 
and plug it in. And just goes up in here somewhere. Is that working? Get the little peg in place through the hole there and get this in place. New horns installed. Now I just gotta make sure this top piece is lined up and I can tighten these down. We have forward and back movement. They're not completely tight. They're just run down enough that uh, it'll stay in line with that washer right on the edge. Which means, because there's no left and right movement now, we can tighten these down. And these are going to have a torque spec that actually matters. These bolts on the front are going to be 75 newton meters or 55 foot pounds. Now it's time to put the headlights back in. And I was thinking about it, and there's no real point to actually switch those. Because those ones are fine, they're not broken, and the headlights are already aligned to that height. So I'm just gonna reuse those ones. Just go right here, plug this in, and we can start getting the light in. Just make sure that lines up. Now we can do this one, and just get it up in here. Rad support is done. I gotta move this outside so I can do a bearing on my dad's car. And there's no real point putting the whole front bumper and everything on when I have to take it right back off to paint anyway. And right now it's clean and it won't be sitting right next to the road. And anytime it rains, cars and stuff will be driving by and then it's gonna get dirty and then I'm gonna have to wash it. And it's just a lot simpler just to leave it like this. Now I've completely lost track of how much parts cost. She's just been ordering them and then they arrive and I put them on and I've completely lost track of all of the totals that she's given me. So to this point right now, this is how much the repair cost has been so far. So hopefully you found something useful. Uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, or don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.